This is Windows 10 Mobile and welcome to the new Windows Store that Microsoft has brought whoops, to the Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 PCs. So we're going to take a look at that very store. Let's unlock the device and let's st get started. There we go. This is the Windows Store. Let me go back to home. And you know what? Let me just restart the app so you could see the, all the beautiful loading screens. Before I start, I want to make let you know that the lag you notice in the scrolling is actually not happening on the phone. There's a problem for some reason projecting the screen on my device on my PC, and it's it, the on, the lag is only showing up in my PC for some reason. I have not had this before. I'll see what if I could do anything about it. But um, but just notice that the, there's no lag in the phone. Click the store logo. Notice the loading screen is black and the accent color then becomes the accent color versus in the old store it used to be blue always blue um, but yeah and it loads faster than before I'll tell you that so this is the what you see when you first open the store now this is the featured apps and it's much bit more responsive in the past you couldn't swipe like this you would have to swipe and you have to wait like a f uh, 550 millisecond or point 500 millisecond point five mill point five seconds before you saw um on reaction but now it's more smooth then you have these subsections like a uh, categories type things top apps top games uh, featured collections if you go to collections you see the different collections we have here now let's do the Disney one wonderful world of Disney and then when you open Disney you see uh, header of the collection this is this part is not new this was always there but what is new is the app listing page when you open an app or a game you see the listing page another thing you note is this store is very slow to do stuff so when you click something it takes a long time for it to come to the app listing page or if you want to go back home it's very slow and it's kind of annoying um, but yeah this is the new listing page uh, right below the app icon you see the a background uh, featured background for the app or game now you see the price and the buy or the game hub button we're going to get to the game hub in a bit. Um, but uh, also, another thing you'll, uh, we'll talk about is the price, display, the pl displaying of the price. We'll get back to that in a bit as well. There's your ESRB rating, and this is interesting. Playable on, you see the devices this will work on. Now you have a picture of a device or a drawing of a device. There are other apps that works on more devices. We'll look at those too. And there's screenshots for PCs and mobiles. And then let me go to switch to PC. And this part there's a bug here. It's it's not easy to switch to PCs. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But same screenshots for both. But yeah, again, you have the USRB rating twice. I don't understand why. And you see some additional information. This kind of looks messy, very messy. There's people also like there's okay. So there's people also like there's reviews. One thing that's new here is um. You can filter by stars that was there, but you could filter by the la latest version. So in the past, you had uh, you saw all the reviews, but now, like other mobile platform, you could limit the leave reviews for only the latest version, because or the last three days. Because sometimes an app update could make a really bad app good. So you might want to not want to see if it's been, it's good recently, or if there's a horrible update that crashes the app or it is does something horrible to the app or terrible to the app uh, people is going to complain about it so you want to see if there's any problem with the latest version of the app before you download it or buy it so that's good and now let's talk about that game hub so if you click the game hub you'll be taken to the Xbox app now now, now, now I have two Xbox apps I have the a beta version so I've been given a choice let me click the beta because why not we're running preview versions anyway right so this app takes a bit long while to load. Maybe it's because the beta one I haven't tested it. But but notice that there's a new loading screen animation that is new to Windows 10 anniversary update. And I've seen other a few other apps have it. Um, the store app doesn't have it yet, but uh, Microsoft Edge has it. When you open up a new a new tab in Edge, it has the new loading animation. And notice this thing takes a long time to load. And there you go. There's that animation here. All right. And this again takes a long time to load. 
here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to pause the video. I want you to see how long this takes to load so you have a good idea. This is running on Lumia 830, by the way. So this is the app. I could follow the app and this is a problem. I follow this app every time and it's all it says follow, so that's weird. So that's all you see. Um, if the app is Xbox Live enabled, you'd have a lot more Im information, but you don't. There's nothing in the activity feed, I'll tell you that. There's no there's no achievements at all. And the only thing you have is for this app is again uh, uh you'll you'd have noticed that gradient was off. That's because um, this project projecting the screen is also showing it in a lower color depth so again this lag at the gradient is not actually part of the phone it's actually uh, projecting but yeah you see some screenshots and videos are made by game GVR by other people you see that so that's the only thing you could see for this app but if it was an Xbox Live app you'd see more stuff so now I talked about owning a paid app. Let's do that. Grover Pro. It's a podcast app. Let's see if I do that and notice how slow this is. Now I already purchased the app but you could still see the price. Um, it's also installed. You could still see the price. That's one of the benefits. Uh, oh no crap okay I spoke too soon okay uh, but no, no matter we'll, we'll 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 demonstrate another one but um even now even if you have purchased an app previously you can now still see the price of the app before once you purchase an app you could not see the price of the app at all to do that you have to go to the web and not sign in to your um, user uh, but now you could see the purchase except I guess when it's t installed so we're gonna do that and another thing you want to notice is there's a surface hub button surface hub icon to let you know there's a surface hub and I've seen uh, I've seen Xbox apps that has the Xbox one logo and if you go to a movies and TVs so let's do movies actually yeah let's do this let's orientate the store so let's do movies and TVs Do uh, this one, I guess. And now, if I go down, as you could see, all these devices: Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, Windows Phone, and Hololens. You have Hololens as well, and some apps you'll also see Hololens in there. That's pretty cool. So let's go back to. Now remember how this home screen looked. It looks different. The, the the this featured is thing is no longer a slider, but it's weird. It takes up the whole screen. I don't think this is a good experience. But then you have this. Uh, these other apps are no longer sliding. They're actually put below these collections. This is the this is the case with even games and stuff. So I go to games again. It's like that. And let's uh, do some. You know, if I click a game here, you'll also notice. That the screenshot layout is different. Well, this is loading. Let's talk about something else. This is my. Uh, this this is your. Wow, this is slow. Okay, so you have downloads and updates settings. My feedback. These have been rearranged, but the only thing new I noticed is uh, my library, which we'll take a look at in the next video, and redeem a code. But for, before that, this is out. So there you go. The sc screenshots are now would lay out in a square manner and I guess you could change to PC again this part is really buggy okay yeah this is it this one's layout in a squared ma square manner so that's interesting that's different from how it was in a portrait mode um, but yeah so let's talk about that redeem code thing uh, this this is I'm pretty sure is new but it's broken it's early broken so when you click redeem code you have this thing or this overlay and this text box is blue for some reason, but you can't. Oh, now you can't type any type something. This is weird. Now I can't delete anything. That's how. If I sw if I use a swipe keyboard, I can't type stuff, but I can't actually individually type this. <laughs> this is so weird. I guess you could paste stuff then, but this is very weird. 
your card contains invalid card. Yeah, okay, but I can't delete it, so that's weird. So, yeah, there's there's bugs that need to be solved. Um, but yeah, so this is redeem code. In the next video, I'll take uh, take a look at the my library section, and there's something interesting there. So stay tuned for that one. Goodbye. Oh yes, and like and subscribe and. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button twice. Thank you.